Howdy ho there, neighbors. Got something for you here today. Um, I'm going to work out the first two problems of this series circuit schematics worksheet. Uh, so we just got done taking some notes and watching this. So hopefully this is, is fairly easy for you, but should be real easy for you once we're done here. It says first draw a schematic to the right and then fill in the chart. Well, as we've learned, right here is the battery. So how do we show a battery? I'm going to go up here. i got to have my draw feature on here. Make it be in black. I've got to draw the battery. So I've got a long, short, long, short line. That there represents the battery. And then I've got to put two light bulbs on here. So I'm going to put one resistor and then another resistor. And I come back. Remember, when it comes to these schematics, we want to make them in the form of boxes or, or squares or rectangles. Now, I've drawn resistors. The way we make them into light bulbs is we simply put a circle around them. And then other things we can do from here, then, is we want to say that right here it tells us the voltage is 12 volts. This is light bulb 1 or resistor 1. This is light bulb 2 or resistor 2. And then they tell us that there are 4 ohms and 8 ohms. 4 ohms, 8 ohms. <clears throat> so we've drawn our schematic. Now it's time to come down here to our chart and start filling in the givens. What do we know? Well, I know that my voltage is 12 volts. That's been given to me. And then light bulb 1 is resistor 1. So right here underneath resistor 1, I'm going to say that it's 4 ohms. Resistor 2, it is 8 ohms. So if you go back to what we were taught, all right, if you go back. Okay, so what I've done here is our first step was to plug in the givens. The second thing is to find RT. Well, in a series circuit, we taught you, or I taught you, to add up your resistances. So 4 plus 8 gives us a total resistance of 12 ohms. The next thing we want to do here then is we want to find IT. All right, we're going to do, do that using V equals IR. <clears throat> I'm going to give myself some space here. And actually, I'm just going to do it right here. IT can be found by saying V equals I times R. In this case, we've learned that the voltage is 12. I is what we want to find, and the resistance is 12. So that tells us then that I, that's not, an, that's not a 1 right there. That's the I. I then has to be equal to 1 amp. So there we found what our IT is, our total current. Well, the next step we said was to use concepts. What was the concept we knew about series circuits? Well, the current in each device is the same. The current is the same. So that means in each one of these, each one of these devices, meaning this light bulb and this light bulb, also has to be 1 amp. Then, as many of you are probably guessing or remember, <clears throat> the last step was to use V equals IR. Whenever we know two of the three, meaning one, two, we know two of the three boxes, the third one's always easy to find. We can use V equals IR or I times R. One amp times four ohms gives me a voltage of four volts. So that means this first light bulb here is using 4 volts. The second light bulb is going to be 1 times 8 or 8 volts. <clears throat> and we've filled this in. Okay, let's look at the second one then. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do on your chart is I only gave you three rows. You're going to have to add a, a, uh, a fourth row here. And you can simply do that by going and clicking, right hand clicking in here, and you can say insert, and you can say rows below, or if you're doing it on paper, just add a fourth one if you're not doing it on the Word document here. So I'm going to start by making my um, voltage here. I've got 120 volts, so I'll go up here and make sure I can draw again. All right, let's do a different color this time. There we go. Long, short, long, short. So there's my battery. Or my power supply 
and my first light bulb, second light bulb, third light bulb. So that right there is 120 volts. This is my resistor one, resistor two, resistor three. And then I've got to put in their ohmages. All right, so that's a thousand. The next one was also a thousand. And the last one is 500. Oh, one thing I forgot. I gotta make them light bulbs instead of resistors. Although a light bulb is a resistor, it's just a sp special kind of resistor. So now I'm ready to do the first step again. First step is put in what we know 120 volts. Then this right here is a thousand ohms. This one here is a thousand ohms. And then I'm going to have to write this one in because I didn't actually write or make it. So this one here is 500 ohms. So we've plugged in our givens. The next step <clears throat> is to find RT. Well, just simply add them up. 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 500 is 2,500 ohms. After that, we're going to find IT. Well, we've learned that you can say that V equals I times R. And in this case, V is 120 equals I times 2,500, which means I is going to equal, so let's plug it over here. I'm going to go 120 divided by 2,500. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.0048, or I'm going to say 0 0.005. <clears throat> Now, what does that mean then? All right, step um, four, or the next step, is to use concepts. What concepts do we know about series circuits? Series circuits, are because there's only one path, the current for each one of them has to be the same. The current coming in here has to be the current coming out, which has to be the current coming in, which has to equal the current coming out. So this part becomes easy. This is the part that students usually like. They realize that once you know the current, you know all of the currents in a series circuit. I'll write this in down here again, 0 0.005 5 amps. Again, now, as we said earlier, once you know two of these, you can solve for the third. So to find the voltage, I'm going to take I times R, or 0 0.005 times 1,000. And that gives us here then... 5 volts, which means the next one would be 5 volts. And then the next one would be 0 0.005 times 500. Something's not making sense here. Let's go back here. I'm going to go back and check to see what we got. I think my current's off. Some of you probably caught it. Maybe I put wrong numbers in. Let's try again. 120 divided by 2,500. Ah, it should be 0 0.05. I had too many zeros in there. Yep, you can see it right here. So, kind of here. Let's just scroll that off and put the decimal point there. Now, when I multiply, that's going to give that 50 volts. It's going to give that 50 volts. <clears throat> 0.05 times 500 is 25 volts. Hey, I like that a whole lot better. So, this has gotten to be pretty long. What you guys hear then is we have two more on your own. All right, draw the schematic. Fill in the chart. Down here, it doesn't say draw the schematic. On number four, I'd like for you to draw the schematic as well. And then go ahead and fill in the chart. 
Well, hopefully that was beneficial for you guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.